This edition of the Spring Report covers the new Cobra Dark Speed Hybrids. Uh, we've got Mr. Kevin Kraft here. We've got Trackman here in the Tour Van Bay. We're gonna do some testing and tell you everything you need to know about the Cobra Dark Speed Hybrids. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold, the Second Swing Golf, joined today by Kevin Kraft here at the Minnetonka Tour Van. Uh, a new product for 2024 that we are going to cover today, Cobra Dark Speed Hybrid. Um, I love this Dark Speed line from Cobra. Yep. Uh, I love the just matte black finish on all of the, mm -hmm. the drivers, Fairy Woods, and now the hybrid here. Um, you know, they've obviously they do tremendous things under the hood to mm -hmm. deliver some good performance. We talk about uh, that power bridge and, um, you know, the different things that they're doing to waiting. But I know for someone like you, you kind of first need to know that a golf club is going to look good. And yeah. so um, I know the drivers and the Fairy Woods check the boxes for you in that department. Yeah. Does the hybrid? Yeah, looks good. Nice. It's got a good shape. Mm -hmm. Good finish. It's dark on top and speedy under the hood. Dark on top. It's, yeah. yeah, that's a good way to put it. That's a good way to put it. So the dark speed hybrid. Okay, so we got this large kind of PowerShell AI design face. Same thing from the, in the driver and the furry woods using AI to optimize the kind of face structure, mm -hmm. give you some more performance where you might be mishitting it more often. Um, what? Toe, People heel. People don't always um, hit it out of the center of the they're club not face? all like you. So, you know, there's going to be some performance needs to happen out here and on the heel and the toe. Um, the, a new refined power bridge construction internally kind of connects the, you know, the back of the club head, the toe and the heel together, stabilizes it, better performance on miss hits. Um, also with the hybrid, though back weighted design too. So um, you see a little bit of that, that center gravity a little mm -hmm. bit farther back. So um, now for you, when it comes to hybrids, what are you looking for out of a hybrid? And uh, I guess when we do some testing, what are you going to be specifically watching for? So I'm... <laughs> I'm really picky about hybrids yeah. too. Um, I know, because you, you've said in the past, you play a couple hybrids. Yeah, I play two, and I typically don't really love hybrids that much. Yeah. Um, but I've got two that do exactly what I need them to, and so they are extremely useful, Yeah. right? These are tools. We want our tools to do a certain job, and we've tried other tools that didn't do the job, so we settle on tools that will do the job. Yeah. Um, this one, you know, right off the bat, there's no adjustability to it in terms of hosel. So we're stuck at 21 degrees, yep. whether we like it or not. Mm -hmm. um, that may or may not work play into yeah. this, right? Um, you know, I, I do like the look of it all right. Uh, it's really gonna come down to performance on this one. Uh, look, feel, sound, and, and numbers, because um, this is going up against what I truly believe is the best hybrid on the market by a sizable yeah, margin. and that so is the, the King Tech the King in your tech. opinion. Yes, yes. Yeah, so dark speed, we've got the four hybrid at 21 degrees. There's also, um, you know, the two hybrid, three hybrid, mm -hmm. uh, five, and then a six that's available custom as well. So there's multiple options here. We've got the four hybrid, which is probably the most popular hybrid out there that yeah. someone would okay. put in their set anyway. Yep. So, all right, let's do some testing. Dark okay. speed hybrid. Let's hit this thing. All right, Kevin. Okay. Uh, tell me what that looks like at address. Um, maybe you compare it kind of to what, I mean, the King Tech mm -hmm. or King Techs that you have in the bag. So I'm still playing the 2021 King Tech. So okay. mine has a, a line here where the carbon fiber starts. Oh, sure. Um, from, a, from an aesthetic standpoint, this is a good looking hybrid. Uh, it's the shape's pretty solid. Doesn't have, I think this has got maybe a little, little tiny bit more roundy, uh, leading edge than the, the King tech does. Um, I like it. I like the, the, uh, crown C logo is very much in the middle here, yeah, yeah. which just visually there some, is, there was is, some questions about the fairy woods. <laughs> there yeah, was in yeah. the center. This looks like I'm trying to hit it in the middle of the yeah, yeah. club, right? So, uh, and I love the I love the finish. It's got the same finish as the as the King yeah. Tech does. So, uh, okay. I, I like I definitely like this. So, um, for hybrid for me in my King Tech, I have set neutral uh, on the draw setting, and I typically think of it as around a 115 club in in 215? calm condition. Or sorry, yeah, yeah, 115. That'd be 115 would be. Uh, 
like a yeah. 54 degree hybrid. Yeah, that'd be that'd be like <laughs> that, right? Um, yeah, 215 uh, carry okay. club in sure. calm conditions. And then is that that shaft is what we have to work with today? Is probably so, not the best fit for you. It's okay. I mean, the PGI is not going to be, you know, leaps and bounds different from okay. the MMTs. The uh, MMT is probably a little lower, yeah. lower launching, lower okay. spinning, right. but same weight, same flex. Okay. So, yeah. All right. Let's hit a few and see okay. what we got. Pretty good start right there. Not bad. So a spin with this, you're probably, I mean, that's probably a pretty good range right there, isn't it? Maybe a yeah. little high? Yeah, that's, it may be a little high, but the numbers are good. I mean, yeah. 214 carry and 98 feet in the air is pretty solid. That was off the toe. Yeah. Oof. A little out there. A little, little just a little out there. That was hit really well from the looks of it. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. That's better. That'll land nice and softly on the green. Yeah. That was off the toe. Really? Yep. Turned out. Okay. Spin rate dropped. Yeah, the spin yeah. rate's way down. Height dropped. Carry yardage stayed. There you go. Back up to in the 135 range for ball speed. Yep. That might be the same exact swing as the first one. <laughs> There's another one. What do we think about uh, the feel? It's pretty good. I don't think it's uh, quite as responsive as the tech. A um, little firmer coming off this face mm -hmm. than, than the, okay. the King Tech. I, I'm not offended by it. It doesn't bother right, me. Yeah. But from, a, from an overall standpoint, um, this, this isn't going to go into my bag. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I just think that I, I just... You just love your, you love your hybrid so much yeah. that <laughs> it's, would, this it's would have to go... It's the first time I've ever had anything close to this much of an affinity for a hybrid. Yeah. yeah it's just, the things the are King just Tech. so good. There's so much adjustability. So, you know, a degree and a half up and down in, in loft. We got the weights to swap out. There's just... Just fantastic. Yeah. This is a, this is a fine golf club. There's nothing wrong with this golf club. That's, nothing wrong. Uh, nothing wrong with this golf club. That's pretty darn good. That felt really good. Like it, it's it's nice. It's nice. It's a it's a good hybrid. Yeah. So yeah. we have. We have one other than wanna, oh, other than you know my Justin Thomas shot. With permission, um, I'd yeah. like to take this one out. Is that okay with you? Oh, please. Okay. We'll just do a little uncheck yeah. there and look at that dispersion. Yeah. You're hitting to the smallest uh, part of the fairway here, and you hit. Uh, we'll we'll, count, we'll give you this one. Okay. So yeah. we'll hit. You got five or six in the fairway there. Okay. This one's off by about two feet. Um, just collapse here and expand the data. This seems about. Pretty darn good in terms of the numbers yeah. there. Yeah. You know, 3567 spin, 214.8 carry, 232 total. Those all seem like numbers that would work in the bag, I think. I mean, yeah. I mean, for a lot of players, right? You're going to get, I mean, we want the hybrid to be high launching and be able to land soft, but also give you plenty of pop too to yeah. fill that it's, gap. It's that definitely much, got It's pop. always a large gap between the irons and like a three wood or, yeah. a, you know, whatever fairy wood. So, yeah. Need something that fills it adequately. Yeah, it's definitely got pop. There's, there's no, there's no worries there. Mm -hmm. um, if the, if the king didn't, if the king tech didn't exist, this would be, this would probably be my hybrid of choice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it, it looks fantastic. Clearly, you can hit the ball high and straight with it, which yeah. is obviously the goal. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I think for the masses, this is going to be a really, really good product for for 2024. A lot of hybrids, I think they're going to go with this one. Yeah. You're going to get. There's a forgiveness with the, the way that's designed, the back weighting, the power bridge. Um, and then, uh, unfortunately, without the adjustability, that kind of limits fitters a little bit with yep. the, the adjustable hosel. Yep. But um, there's enough in its kind of stated, in its standard setting, standard build, that it, yeah. it's going to be really good. Yep. All right, Kevin, testing complete on the Cobra Dark Speed Hybrids. Um, you know, I... I 
we haven't been able to expand much on this thing. There's no. a few technologies. It's very similar in build and design to like the, the, the dark speed fairy woods. Mm -hmm. um, let's kind of talk about the golfers that'll best fit into this now. I mean, because there's some limits, like we mentioned, with no adjustable yeah. hosel. But what type of golfer is best going to be putting a dark speed hybrid or multiple dark speed hybrids in the bag? So, I mean, I can see this going well with somebody doing the the, you know, the dark speed irons yeah stopping at a five going into the hybrids from that point forward forge tech x right um you know those two lines really i think would this would complement that very very well and it's it it's, it's nice solid hybrid yeah somebody that wants you know all the bells and whistles and a little bit more adjustability uh you know we can graduate up to the king tech but yeah. this is this is a very competent fairway wood yeah, I think the, you know, maybe the, certainly not the golfer that's a tinkerer, but someone that's, yeah. you know, even trying to play a little bit more golf, right? Yeah. And they're, maybe they are kind of graduating from a quote unquote beginner stage, looking for a hybrid that's going to perform for them, that they can just go out there and rip it off the yeah. ground, off the turf or the rough fairway, um, and maybe in the sand, they need something they can trust. Yeah. Um, the dark speed is going to do that for you in a yeah. variety of lies. Um, launches the ball high off the ground, can also be played off the tee, yep. um, pretty versatile club. So, yeah. Um, I think that's all we got here for the Cobra Dark Speed Hybrid. It's yeah. going to be really good. Um, so go get your fitting. Make sure you've got that area dialed between your irons and your fairy woods. Dark Speed's going to be a great option to fill that gap there. So, yeah. um, Kevin, thanks for joining, giving the insight. Um, Dark Speed Hybrid, go get fit today.